Alright, uh, this video is kind of in response to a, um, a question on YouTube which was asking about how you get the um, QML layers from uh, who's released them? The FSE Field Study Center um, have released a, a pack of, of a bunch of different phase one styles from a number of different authors. Um, how to get those attached to your, your layers in, in QGIS. So it kind of depends on a few things first. The first thing I'm going to do is just look at my attribute table for wrong window for one of my layers. Now this is a uh, this is a phase one survey um, and this is oh hello it's not a camera there. Um, this is the polygon layer. So all of these habitats here are the um, the polygon features. And they've all got the, the you know the usual phase one tab tag. So what we need to do first we need to get our um, our style layers from the FSC. Uh, this is the page that you'll find them on if you if you Google um, FSE QGIS Phase One styles, it'll probably be the first one that uh, that pops up. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was working with. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the list the list of the of the different ones that are available. There's a link down here at the bottom. You can download them from there, and then uh, stick them somewhere on your on your computer. This is the, uh, the folder I've got them in. If you see, we've got a number of different ones here. These ones here are from NRW, uh, Natural Resources Wales. These ones here are from uh, Oxford Brooks, I think. Yes, from their Phase One Habitat Toolkit. Um, obviously, that one is from Ben, um, and this one's from um, uh, what's what is it? Uh, Under Dark. Under Dark GIS, you may know her as, uh, also known as Anita. So I'm going to use uh, the yes, I'm going to use the Oxford Brooks one. So go back into QGIS. Here's our layer. We know that the the attribute data has um, has the phase one code in it. So what we need to do, we need to go on the properties of that. And style down here, and we're going to load a style, and we're going to load it from that folder that I was just in. Here's our polygon one. So I'm going to open that, and I'm going to load style. Now, one thing you may have to change. So these are all the all the styles. One thing you may have to change. Um, ignore that. Is the column up here because we don't have a column that's called P1 code my column is called code so I'm going to switch it to that one there and then I'm going to go apply okay and there is our applied phase one style what you can do is you can save these styles um, to your library so you can save the style give it an appropriate name this is a111 uh, one, one, one. yeah there's three ones um, you can save those styles and they'll add them to your library then so you can just click on a111 if you want to apply it to that um, to that style can do that or you can just load in the uh, the QML every time so that's the polygons let's have a look at lines load style from file line style same thing again I'm going to switch to the code column apply it okay and now it is looking very busy but there are my lines, you know, I should probably really have a um, OS map behind there. But there's our lines. And there's our polygons. So if we try one of the other ones, uh, let's try... Um, let's try Anita's. How does that work? So it's got the same code it's applied to. We're going to switch it to code. OK on that. Oh, that looks a bit nicer. So this one is, um, is polygon only, I think. I'm going to have a look and see whether it'll do anything on this one, but I don't think it will. I think this one is only for polygons. Yes, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah, nothing's flagging up there. So the Anita Grazer one is only for, um, for polygon layers. And I'm assuming the NRW one probably is as well. And Ben's is um, for NVC, so it's not relevant. Yeah, that looks. 
looks like uh, yeah so the only one really you've got the um, the lines layer for is the um, this one here the phase one toolkit um, one you can of course make your own um, I strongly recommend you make your own ones you can base them off, off ones of these but you know it's a good skill to have to be able to make your own styles so it's a, yeah, it's a good way to start and develop it really. Okay.